weekly vlog. We are killing it with these things. I know it's Sunday for you guys, so I hope you've had a really, really enjoyable weekend. Um, it is Monday for us, and we are out running errands. This is usually when I would be doing some filming, but we decided we just need to get out of the house. Right, guys? Yep. Yeah. Yep, and we needed to do it before brother's nap time. So, um, yeah, just figured we'd intro the vlog, say hello, uh, and take you along on our adventure this week. Welcome to Texas. <laughs> Buddy, what did you do? What did you do? Did you eat corn nuts? And now you're a mess? Show me your hand. Oh good, you wiped some of it off. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Isabella, yesterday you said you missed something from home. What did you say that you missed? Do you remember? I don't think anyone saw anything. I don't see anything. Isabella, did you see something? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, buddy, we're not getting out. Yes, we are getting out. <gasps> what? What? <laughs> what did you say you missed yesterday, Isabella? The trampoline. I miss the trampoline a lot. And what is Daddy getting for you right now? A trampoline. A trampoline. <laughs> the second Daddy heard that, ooh, let's wait for the light to adjust. The second Daddy heard that Isabella and Olivia and the kids were really missing the trampoline, which we we, yeah. we were missing as well, because we like to just send them outside. He found one. So, okay buddy, you'll see in just a second. So we just drove all the way to Temple to pick up what? A trampoline. A trampoline. <gasps> Surprise! The trampoline, bud. Thanks for having happy hearts on the drive. Told you it'd be good, right? We had to run some errands, which is why we needed to all get in the car to run some errands. Is it a good errand? Oh, yes, baby. Yes. So, was that a good surprise? Yes. Yeah? Yes. I'm still a little happy, Terry. Oh, I'm just a little happy, Terry? Terry, happy. Because we obviously had a, oh, she just ripped tape off of it. It's fine, honey. We obviously had a trampoline at the last house, but it was not a practical thing to move with. So uh, we decided to get a new one, which is a win-win for everyone involved because they get to enjoy the trampoline and I get to shove them outside to expel some energy. <laughs> so now we're just gonna grab some gas, which I still cannot believe. You guys, it's $1.84. What? That's so inexpensive, I still can't believe that. And then we're gonna grab some lunch and head back um, cause it's someone, it's time for someone's NAP as soon as we get home. And so, then when hmm? he wakes up, we're gonna be able to PLAY with him on the day. Yeah, for sure. It might be a little warm, but I think it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. we can add misters on it too. What is your daddy doing? <laughs> I don't know, he's a giant weirdo. And then mommy needs to film main channel video and I've got emails to get to. Hola! Silas is awake! I am walking different rooms so Silas isn't here. All right, focus, focus. Oh. I'm gonna be the one recording Silas seeing our brand new trampoline. He does not know it yet, but it's all ready for him. And it said 45 minutes to build but it took us up to an hour. Kinda see it right there. You ready? We're gonna go outside, bud. And go outside. Yeah, just for a little bit. What's that? What's over there? It's what? Can I bounce on it? You wanna go bounce on the trampoline? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh. All right. There you go, there you go bud. Whoa! <laughs> we haven't been without a trampoline for that long. Come on, kid. You remember how to jump. You can jump with your car. How's that for a view? Mom and Daddy. 
That's your dad's oh, table oh, we were oh, building. Right. <laughs> it's just like what we did back in California, huh? Yeah. When we'd lay on the trampoline. It's a much better view. And Silas would bounce us all around, even though we're just trying to lay still hey, and enjoy ourselves. Your armpit's very sweaty, Dad. <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> Silas, you're kind of ruining the moment. It was so peaceful. All right, let's just let them stare at the sky for a minute or two while we figure out what we're gonna do for dinner. Can you get? Off of those clouds. I'm gonna try Silas to. Is not bouncing. Tripping. <laughs> hey, bud. Bud, come lay down. <laughs> yeah, just lay your arm out and make him trip. <laughs> Silas, you be very careful. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, here, give me that, look. Hold on, here you go. Is that better? <laughs> Good job, drunk on the power, dude? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna make such quality footage. Oh uh, yeah. Good job, bud. <laughs> thank, thank you. <laughs> Good job, Cy. <laughs> Oh, and this is Scout. He's our neighbor's puppy, which means he's half ours. Because <laughs> uh, he's outside a lot. So he comes over, causes a bit of a ruckus. You're dirty. You were in the creek. He also jumped on my pants. Super fun. <laughs> and he's obsessed with our dog. Now if we could just get him to stop chewing on our stuff. Watch go, watch go. Oh, you're wet. Why are you all wet? <laughs> <laughs> you and your white walker eyeballs. Huh. White paint. Ooh, ooh. You can open that one. Yeah. Let's see a little bit more excitement and enthusiasm, please, sir. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Shut up. Mister, I cut my thumb right before our move. Ooh! What do you think? Oh, they're so tiny. They're tiny. They're not very deep either. No. Those are a lot smaller than I just made it. Yeah, that's worthless. <laughs> uh, but it's a two pack. It's not. What the heck are we supposed to do with this? <laughs> I don't know. What my heck? <laughs> so Silas, instead of saying, what the heck, he, he goes, what my heck? All the time, and Elias hadn't heard him say it until today in the car. <laughs> so when he's really frustrated, he goes, what my heck? <laughs> and it's not appropriate for a three-year-old to be saying, but we can't bring ourselves to stop him because it's so funny. But we saw these because we love Jamie Oliver. We love Jamie Oliver. Uh, his cooking concepts, how he does stuff. And he had these like uh, enamel coated pans that he would put on the stove top and then just toss straight into the oven. And those looked like, the m coolest, most wonderful things to us. So I went online and ordered a two pack, but they're like very they're tiny. They're deep. They're not. <laughs> they're worthless. <laughs> I should have checked the measurements like a little bit better. But paint is here, hey. which means some of the DIYs that I've been holding up for a while, or have been held up for a while, can finally get started. So um, I think I have like three or four. This uh, DIY thing that I want to do called I've Been Influenced. Where I like do, <laughs> right? <laughs> Thank you. I thought it was funny where I do um, high cyborg, where I do uh, DIYs that I've seen influencers do on Instagram, TikTok, whatever. So I have three of them already lined up. I just don't know if I want to do them all in one video or all separately. Babe, what should I do? Do a poll on your Instagram. No, because they're just going to vote for bonus video again. You guys would be fiending for videos. I love it. I love it. I'm all about it. Just last week on my Instagram, I was asking, do you guys want me to hold on to this extra footage till next Sunday? Do you want a bonus video? 87% said bonus video. So I get it. More content. More content is more content. But I just don't know if each of these DIYs are going to like substantiate its own video. Okay. Dinner. Got to get figured out. Got to get out of these jeans. Cause there's mud on them now, thank you Scout. Puppy we did not sign up for, but got it somehow. Anyways, what's going on bud? You got hurt? You got owie on your foot? You need help? Okay, mama help you. I swear you guys, sometimes doing life with this man is one of my favorite things ever. So, 
Clearly our backyard area is a total mess. Elias is working really hard on that garage, which actually he's been recording on his channel, if he ever decides to edit it. Um, and that piece is from one of the metal pieces that was on the garage that he had to remove. So he decided to set up a little track for Silas. Oh, he's just so sweet. Y'all, I got a good one. So now Silas can take his, all his little cars out there and drive them. It's so cute. Also, this window is so dirty. It doesn't take away from the cuteness, right? Oh. <laughs> good job, Silas. That worked really well. There's one thing we are not short on here, folks. It's toy cars. <laughs> Silas. You different cars. Here, bud, ready? Watch. Watch. Here you go, bud. <laughs> That's pretty cool, huh? We just decided we're doing leftovers for dinner, right, Daddy? -o? Yeah. Clear out that fridge. It's normally, what we do on Sunday nights. Sunday night is our leftover night, where we just like take all the meals that we've had the whole week, pull them all out, and the kids and Elias and I just get to pick what we're eating um, based off the leftovers. So we've got just tons of Tupperware. But last night I made loaded baked potatoes, which were uh, delicious. Uh, so we didn't do leftovers, so might as well do it tonight. So me, I'll take little bits of leftovers from like whatever remnants are left and just have a smorgasbord. Smorgasbord? Smorgasbord. Smorgasbord. Smorgasbord of just all the meals we've had for the week. I did it. I took Elias' advice and I'm posting it on Instagram to figure out how many videos I should do. So if you are not following me on Instagram, first of all, what are you doing? <laughs> Second of all, I really, this is gonna sound like the lamest thing. Oh, this is my friend, Nicole. Her account is Needing Home and she does the most delicious looking food and her stories are all about plants too. Uh, this is gonna sound so lame guys, but like, I really wanna get to 10K here, okay? Like I just I really want that swipe up. So if you're not following me there, just get me to the swipe up. Cause those are the kinds of things that, mat woo, <laughs> that matter in life, is making sure I have the swipe up link, right? Um, and also look at look at what else my sweet sweet husband is now doing. Look at him. He's now riding or taking his son out for a ride because Silas cannot <laughs> ride that bike very well just yet. He's just out there hanging out with him. Sweet, sweet, sweet. It's much easier coming downhill than it is going up. <laughs> okay, get the uh, the kid the girls in here and we'll get started on all of these leftovers. But look at that, look how much more room is in my very unorganized fridge. But, it doesn't matter, there's so much more room. So ideally, we can kill that. All of it. It's probably not gonna happen, but we're gonna try. We're gonna give it the old college try. Let's just get rid of all of it. Oh, Jamie, when are you gonna learn to clean before you start vlogging? I don't know, maybe when you don't have three kids and a job. <laughs> Did you break the dog? <laughs> <laughs> Monkey is like, nope, no ma'am. <laughs> no ma'am. No, ma he did not nap. So, shh, hey, too loud. Hey, look at mommy, eyes, too loud, okay? This is so silly. Uh, Silas did not nap. And when he doesn't nap, we pay for it in just like loud noises. He's always making noise in general. He's entered a new phase where like he's always, always making noise. But when he hasn't napped, which is about, I don't know, once or twice a week now, it's just so loud. So loud. So if this keeps up, I may not pick up the camera for a while because it's just like, it's deafening here. I can't imagine how deafening it is for, for you guys, especially headphone users. Sorry. Are you now woofing? No. Once he starts woofing, he just like. Are you meowing and woofing? He just like doesn't stop. Unless the camera's on him. Maybe this is the plan of action I need to take. Are you safe up there, kitty? Hi. Are you doggy or a kitty? 
You're a doggy like Trixie? Yeah. You're a good doggy. You good girl, Trix. Trixie is gonna be th 10 this week. You're gonna be 10. You old lady. You old lady. And I was looking back at pictures and I didn't realize Monkey Girl is seven. Like she always seems like she's like three to me. I can't believe. I cannot believe. What a ride we've been on, huh, kidders? Oh, such so a good stuff. Anyone else's cat like this? She does not like to be pet anywhere but her face. If you start to venture outside the face, there it is. It's all right. It's all right. You're good. So I'm gonna take my cute hair, my leftover curry, and go hang out with my girls while we wait for. Oh, there he is. Hey, -o. Hey, -o. Um, we're just gonna go chill and eat dinner. Okay, little brothers in bed. Mm -hmm. Good riddance. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, and now what are we gonna do? We have a mouthful of chocolate cake, huh? The girls are enjoying our uh, homemade back to school cake because we are, I don't know if I've talked about it here yet, uh, we are homeschooling this year, which has been so far pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Pretty Not minimal hard. work. Wow, wow. We have minimal, wow. we have. Wow, sorry, go ahead. We have lowered our chances of work and we have learned more than we would in school. Lowered your chances. That's a very sweet way of saying uh, that we do less work every day, like hours of work. Um, so instead of doing work at school and then work at home, we, what, today we did schooling for? An hour? Two hours. hours? We got all our subjects done. The only thing we have left to do is figure out what math program we wanna do, which means it'll probably end up being three hours, but we only do school Monday through Thursday, right? Mm -hmm. Three day weekend. So we get three day weekends every weekend. But because it's just a lot of family time, and a lot of little brother around all the time making noise, we have let the girls stay up quite a bit later these days. And we usually play a card game at night. And the last few nights it's been Uno. Um, and then we'll go hang out in the room and watch some TikTok, which I know you guys have seen us do before. But because especially with schooling, we are really trying to cut down on um, just shoving screens in front of them all the time. So get, getting a few rounds of Uno in does the trick. Yep. Yep. Also use Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right, shall we play? Yes. Okay. Let's get ready to run. There we are. In the place of about an hour after the girls bedtime and one of them just came out of the room. It's going well for me. Just come to me uh, for all your parenting advice needs. I am sitting down to uh, work on geography flashcards for the girls. We are doing a program called The Good and the Beautiful for homeschooling this year. And um, the reason that we chose to do that is because we just found that a lot of the structuring, I don't know if I share this in a video or not already, um, a lot of the structuring with the online platforms for public schools, like transitioning to uh, distance learning. If it's anything like our experience was at the end of last year, that was so much work and it was just them in front of screens all day long. And so we were like, you know what? We're just gonna pick a homeschool program because Elias was homeschooled. So he knows, he remembers um, how, how much simpler it was than what the work that we were doing through the public school system was at the end of last year. So we chose to just pick out our own curriculum, pick out our own program um, and go from there. But, but because so many people are like flocking to homeschool right now, which is understandable, like the programs through the public schools, I know they're trying really, really hard. It just was a lot of work. I mean, if we're look, we were looking at six, seven hours a day um, of monitoring the kids as they do their work and get on Zoom calls, get off Zoom calls, make sure they turn stuff into this link. No, that link's broken. You gotta turn them this link. I mean, it was just, it was, it was a mess and I'm not saying that they weren't trying, um, but it just, I don't know how I can continue to get the work done that I need to get done and how Elias can get the work done that he needs to get done and do six to seven hours of online schooling 
um, that they need a lot of management with. Whereas with a program like this, um, we, I think today we spent like two, two and a half hours on schoolwork. We still haven't added in a math course. So we have to do that. Um, and I think they shared this earlier. So we have like Monday through Thursday. So we get three day weekends and it's just such a great way to spend time with them. They are also, we're like putting them in charge of handling some of their own schoolwork, uh, which this, this program specifically is designed to do as well. When they've reached the grade level the girls are at, they should be able to work through X, Y, and Z of the program on their own. And there's no prep work. That's the program that we went with. So let me get back to my other thought that because a bunch of people have flocked to homeschooling this year. Um, the physical workbooks, the physical textbooks, those kinds of things were, um, a lot of them were completely sold out, but they do offer digital downloads. So that's something that we went for this year. But it does mean that I have to hand make geography uh, uh, index cards, right? What are they called? Flashcards. Maybe I should go back to school. Uh, and there's four per page, and there's just this glorious stack. It doesn't, I recognize that the stack doesn't look very large, but there's, there's four per page. You know, we're, we're looking at, at 200 that I have left to do. And I bought a laminator, so I'm gonna laminate them because my kids will destroy them, especially if both of them are gonna be using one set of cards because I cannot imagine doing this twice. <laughs> so we're gonna share. Mm -hmm. We're gonna share things. So I'm gonna cut them. Don't know if I'll even get around eliminating them tonight because it's already 10 o'clock. Oh, oh. Update. It's been an hour of cutting. An hour. I haven't even attached them to the cards yet because at a certain point I was like, let's just get the cutting done. Maybe don't go faster. It hasn't. There's still more left to do. There's still more left. So um, I'm gonna call it a night here, uh, at least here for us, and go continue with my super, super fun stuff off camera, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye. Good morrow, my friends. It is Tuesday, uh, which means it is main channel upload day. Um, obviously, I got the filming done yesterday, which feels really, really nice, so I just gotta get that edited. One thing I am starting to realize about this house, though, is our upload speed for our internet is so painfully slow. So I am just astounded at the difference between our last place and this place. Um, so I need to get cracking on that. I also have the, the longest, the longest to-do list. I just do. There's something that's really daunting about a long to-do list, but there's something really fun about checking it off. So I've got this haul that I need to get ready for main channel, hopefully for next week, fingers crossed. Um, and it's fall themed, which by the way, today's September 1st, so <laughs> I have permission to decorate now. I just don't know if I'm gonna do like a full blown fall decorate with me video, like curated, or if I'm just gonna vlog it. I don't know, we'll find out. And I have to order, I have to put together an Instacart order simply because there's so much going on. Elias is out working on the garage because we have a few days of rain that may be coming our way. So he needs to put the waterproof paper on the side of the garage. So he's out there doing that. Neither of us can make it to the grocery store today. So we're just gonna, we're gonna place a massive order. <laughs> and then maybe, just maybe, I just pick up a little bit. Just a teen, 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 teen bit. So now, let's just get cracking on the checklist. Just get that great, great lighting. This is quality, Jamie. You're so good at this. Uh, so I'm just gonna get cracking on my checklist. Got my laptop all ready to go and uh, hopefully knock some of it off. Alrighty, your mom said for us to clean our room. Yes, we're, we do notice it's still a little bit messy. We're still working on it, but you're wondering, first thing when you walk in, what is this? But we got some little toesies here and wrapped up. It's all cutting up water. He did have some fries in here and blocks holding it up for him. Oh, what a, yeah, day. I had so many things on my list and I crossed off like four of them. <sighs> just, yep, I hear you. That's what my heart is feeling too. I just had so many things I wanted to get done and it didn't happen. My video is still processing like an hour and a half later. Oh, this is killing me. Like, my kitchen's still a mess. It's six o'clock, I haven't even started on dinner. I'm supposed to make meatloaf tonight. Ugh, the rant continues. But 
editing, especially when I'm overlaying photos and trying to link to things and stuff like that, can take so much longer than I always give it mental credit for. So I'm glad today's video is at least processing. It's up, we're, we're almost there. I can go live, hopefully pretty soon. Um, but until then, Maybe I should just do some cleaning up or get dinner started or I don't know. I don't know, but thank you for listening to my rant because I needed to get that out there and I need someone to know that's making me crazy. Okay, I know exactly what I'm gonna do to turn the mood around. The girls are at the store with um, Elias, by the way. I am going to throw on some fun music. Should we play some fun music? Yes. Yes, and I'm just gonna clean. Just get it done because that'll make me feel better. Just clean off this space right here it's not a lot of work, it's not a lot of effort. Let's just, let's just give it a go, shall we? Okay, here we go. Prepare yourselves for a time lapse, me cleaning up, and then hopefully starting dinner. Why am I talking like this? Let's go. Answer a little bit. Thanks for getting groceries. You're welcome. Mom. Yes, love. Ooh, grapes. That's great. Wow. Oh, you guys got some high quality food there. Bluebell ice cream. What are you what are you ooing, bud? You see corn dogs? Yes. Okay, I gotta get hustling on dinner so it's ready in time. So I'm gonna leave this to you guys, okay? Yeah? You're welcome. So we bailed on the meatloaf because we knew it would take too long, but look at that gorgeous salad. Elias, you did done good, my love. You're not in focus, but I see that thumbs up. Super, super excited about this. Hold on, Betty. Um, and move away from the talkative toddler. Um, it appears as though my main channel video is finally uploaded. Uh, it's finally done processing. I had hardwired into the internet con connection, which is fine, but like, frustrating when I already started uploading it. Um, but now I'm going through like an ads verification, like ad suitability verification, which I've never had to do. This light's turning rapidly blue. Hold up, that's just the light, cool. Um, <laughs> no, that's not real. There we go, thank you so much. Um, where I, it has to go through the process of being viewed. And my ads are pending until that's done. Um, so I don't wanna make it go live until ads are running. Cause this is, this is like our income now cause weddings aren't happening. This is their only income. So I just, <clears throat> I don't know if anyone else is content creator out there on YouTube. Are you having to go through this? Like a new, the new ad suitability check thing? Cause that was never a thing before, but I'm pumped about my salad. Oh, 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 oh. And the girls are FaceTiming with my parents. And it's so cute. They do game nights with them like every once in a while. So here, let's see if we can see again. From store or from regular grocery store? Regular, regular grocery store. Hey guys. Hey there. Hey. Figured I'd, I'd get you on the camera so you guys can watch yourselves later when you watch the vlog. <laughs> hey girl, hey. What, buddy? Can I get my seat? Can you get your seat? Yes. Sorry, what was that, Daddy O? FaceTiming in from FaceTiming where? FaceTiming in from California. Ayo. Hi. Bye, bye. Oh goodness, oh goodness. He's such a nuisance in these calls. <laughs> yes, I'm shutting the door. The second you put Silas in front of a FaceTime camera, he just tries to steal the stinking show, right? Yep, does brother try to steal the show? Yep. Exhibit A. I'm way too excited about this moment, but I just realized Trevor's back. Is it? There it is, okay. You ready for this? would like to introduce you to Trevor. Oh, oh, quickly before he runs. Oh man, see him? It's Trevor. Hey Trev, what you doing? You hanging out? You okay if I just move this for a sec? 
You can say hi to everybody. Trevor's the toad that lives in the crack between our patio and our house. He sleeps during the day, he comes out at night, and the dog really wants to hang out with him, but he doesn't want to. But <laughs> I've been waiting for him uh, to pop his head out so I could show you guys. And yes, there's a moving box, because we're just the classiest humans. All right, bye Trevor, see you later. You don't eat Trevor, okay? Trevor's back. Yay! <laughs> Say goodnight. Hey, son, you got a shirt on. <laughs> do you guys want to keep FaceTime out here? Yeah, yeah go. Because what do you need to go get that's in the freezer? I C E. Yep. Cream. All three of them eating ice cream, talking with my parents. It's so cute. And my video is up. It's live. No, wait, photo focus. Nope. Um, and I'm so excited because we might have like a thunderstorm right now. I recognize that that makes me sound very California. I don't want you to go out because you don't like fireworks. So I'm assuming you're not gonna like thunder. But for for all my California friends, let's just. Oh, there's a package. Man, I couldn't get any of that because my camera wouldn't focus and then I tried to film it on my phone and then not as much lightning was happening so I didn't end up getting really anything whoo yes but it is it is windy out there and now this this goes without saying you know it, it is disheartening knowing that the storm is here I'm assuming it's because the effects of Laura that are hitting the Gulf Coast um that's just my guess because I think Laura was anticipated to make landfall sometime this week. So while it is exciting to experience a thunderstorm for us who don't normally get it, I do recognize that this is this is currently impacting a lot of people. So lessens the cool factor a little bit. We're still gonna be in awe of the lightning, but it does make it quite a bit of a bummer. Like the uh, derecho in Iowa. Um, if any of you guys are in Iowa and you have any information on that, because I don't really see a lot of coverage of that in the media, like. Drop a comment down below. I don't know if we have a lot of people. Is it Iowa? I'm pretty sure it's Iowa that it happened in. I don't even know the specific state. Um, but tons of cropland was destroyed. Which is crazy craziness. So if you guys are there, if you have family there, and you know what's up, like leave us leave us some information in the comments below just so we can all learn a little bit more about what's happening because there just doesn't seem to be very much coverage. And um, this is a big deal, right? I mean, it sounded like a big deal from the few people who heard it from. <sighs> on to lighter subjects, I'm gonna put on pajamas. I made it to like 8.22. <laughs> I mean, that gives me some, that gives me some sort of credit, right? Well, hello again, even though you just saw me. Uh, everyone else is in bed, and if you have not been through a Vlogmas with me yet, then you do not know that I like to craft and create and do stuff late at night. Um, and tonight is the night. I've, it, it has been calling to me for a while and I'm waving around a pumpkin, so clearly something's about to happen with that. It's a, a plastic, is it plastic? Some sort of, yeah, I think it's a plastic pumpkin from Target dollar section last year. I got it because I was like, ooh, cool, it's gray, but with the black stem and it, it just kind of pulls more spooky than I think I want. But I had a thought. I am getting ready to do a DIY here on this channel involving baking soda and acrylic paint because the powder gives the acrylic paint like a more of a matte type finish. Um, a lot of people will use baking soda or plaster of Paris, so that's my plan with a couple of thrifted things that I have here. But I thought, since I've never done it before, why not try it on the pumpkin and see how it goes? Because because then it could be white with a black stem or I could end up painting the stem later. I don't know, you don't know, it could be fun. And then it can have like a really cool ceramic-y type texture. <laughs> I'm here for it, I just don't know if it's gonna work. So I figured let's test out the DIY before I actually film the DIY and you know, vlog fam gets to see it. But I should probably get a piece of cardboard to put down so I don't get paint on my table. Got my cardboard and my bowl and spoon for the mixins. Um, and I did just watch another YouTube video of someone else doing this because the only person with original thought was Adam. Um, and they said to make sure uh, that you had a water-based acrylic paint because that is what the baking soda will have a chemical reaction with. So, uh, and this one said use a cup of acrylic paint with a teaspoon of baking soda. 
So we're gonna start small because I don't wanna overdo it. This one might turn out okay. You know, fingers crossed, painted fingers crossed, that uh, maybe after another coat tomorrow, they'll be just fine. So I will up with, uh, Elias played with my hair tonight. So it was crazy. I will update you guys tomorrow on how it ends up looking, and now we're gonna call it a night with the vlog. And I will see you in the morning. And let's hope that tomorrow feels more productive than today did, because it's okay to have days that are not productive. It totally is. Um, but it's also okay for those days to stink. Tomorrow's gonna be a good one though. You can feel it in my bones. That was weird. Okay, bye.